Paperless movement, your productivity, your way. I'm so excited that Reflect is now a verified partner of the Paperless Movement. As part of this verification process, they provided our members a 30 minute deep dive video exploring in detail how to best use their awesome note-taking tool. What I personally love about Reflect though is the top-notch AI implementation, allowing for custom prompt templates and their focus on catering to individuals instead of teams, which makes it a fantastic personal knowledge management tool in your iCore framework, competing with Obsidian and MAM. Today, Sam will share some highlights from the deep dive. So take it away, Sam. Hello, paperless movement community. I'm super excited to talk to you today about Reflect and how you can use the tool to take better notes, to think better and improve your productivity. One of my new favorite ways of taking notes is using voice notes. Now, I've always kind of loved voice notes, but there's always been this huge problem that they're inaccurate and they're kind of unusable once you get them. So for one, if you record something and it doesn't really catch what you're saying, I do this all the time with voice texting on my iPhone and I'll send someone a voice memo and send it only to realize that it makes absolutely no sense because it didn't actually understand what I was saying. Reflect uses Whisper AI, which is from OpenAI. And the big difference is that it has near human level accuracy. And it really is very, very incredible. You can just kind of ramble off anything and it captures exactly what you're saying. You don't have to add in any punctuation, any of that. It records it perfectly for you. So. This has been an incredible game changer in taking notes, and it is even further multiplied when you can use it with the AI GPT-4 AI palette editor that I just showed you. And I actually probably should have mentioned that in the other one. Reflect's AI editor uses GPT-4 from OpenAI. All right, so you can record a voice memo using Whisper on any of our apps. So on the desktop app, you can see this microphone up here. Um, you can also do it on the iPhone and the iPad app. I think I actually use it on mobile much more than I use it on the desktop. And the beauty of it is that you can record the voice memo. It will transcribe this big block of text, which is very accurate. And then you can use the AI palette editor to turn it into a summary, turn it into action items, turn it into key takeaways. So let's kind of see what that looks like. Let me clear out the previous example here, but I am going to expand this meeting here. So let's say this meeting just happened and I want to record a voice note on actually what happened there. So I'm going to click on this. So I just had a content meeting with Barbara to talk about new plans. The overall goal of the meeting was to figure out how we can meet and surpass our metrics and goals for the next quarter. So we had a brainstorm about a new content series that we could launch and Barbara collected all of those ideas. And so she is going to send them to the whole team for feedback afterwards. We talked about developing new distribution channels for our content. So we talked about expanding SEO. I need to do a couple SEO audits on our websites. And I should probably also do another round of keyword research. And then Barbara is going to talk to the team about setting up a new email system so that we can have a newsletter component of our content. And finally, we talked about testing new content verticals. So Barbara is going to outline an experiment for YouTube, TikTok, and Twitter. I'm going to help the team produce five content pieces in each of those categories, and then we're going to test them to see which one works the best. Okay, so now you can see, I get this message here that it's uploading and processing the audio memo. Depending on how long it is, it can take a little while maybe a few minutes. If it's really short, it'll take less time. And it also see you have this notification up here that it is processing a voice note. And one of the really nice things about this is that I can actually now record a second one while the first one's processing. But you can see how this could be used in a bunch of different scenarios. It could be used to take a reflection at the end of the day from your bed. You can take notes while you're walking around. If you have a great idea in the shower or while you're driving, you can safely just pull up the recording and do a quick recording on it. And this is probably my new favorite way of taking notes. I even start to do some things like I can do a voice ramble and about some topic. So I'll just kind of walk around my house or my living room and just talk about all of my knowledge around a topic and I will have it turn that voice memo into an article outline. So a bunch of different use cases. 
All right, so you can see the audio memo has been posted to my daily note here. And if it's messy, I can just collapse it there. But as you can see, incredibly accurate. It does all the punctuation, all the grammar correctly and pretty per perfectly captured everything that I have to say. We're done with this quick tour, but we've got an awesome deep dive video for you in our paperless movement membership. What are you waiting for? Join us now, watch the deep dive, and let's chat about any questions you've got. Remember, it's all about boosting your productivity, your way.